Hey, Dave here. Dave Mackey, that is, as you can probably guess. Hey, we wanted to uh, share a little of my run right now with you. Going up uh, the back side of Sinaitis. Um, seldom visited the area. Uh, I don't know, if you ever come out here and recognize it, you'll be able to find it, but as it is, um, it's kind of a secret that only the locals know about. So, here we go. Oh, and while we're at it, let's talk about Pikes Peak Marathon. This is past weekend. Lovely uh, outside of Manistee Springs, Colorado. Uh, well, let's just say it wasn't the perfect race, but uh, got done, got seventh place. Uh, my worst finish ever there. I had three other second place finishes in the past uh, 10 years, but uh, the ascent, I realized, is, uh, if you're going to do that well, you need to change altitude, which I unfortunately could not do for the whole month of uh, July. So, anyway, seventh place, I saw the race more as a stepping stone to the upcoming uh, Clermayeur, Champex, Chamonix race in France next weekend, and also it was a, uh, a stepping stone to whew, getting heavy here. I'm not, stepping stone to the Ultra Racer Champions in step end of uh, September. So yeah, but I wanted to also tell you one thing I forgot to do uh, in the days before I speak was. I forgot to uh, take in as much Targo as possible. Uh, I did not do about 800 calories per day, which I found in prior races pretty critical to success. Um, and then for uh, during the race, I used Targo as um, pretty much got up in the morning. Took in about 400 calories, um, and then just kind of had a little bit of solid real food too, uh, banana, dry bagel, and usual cup of coffee. And then uh, race started, and I had about 800 calories in uh, my bottle, and supplemented that with water up the hill to the summit. Got a handoff of another 800 calories, and came down with that.